Hi all. Well, here we are. As I always say, another week, um, another purchase. So naughty. <laughs> I'm a very naughty girl. And I really am. I shouldn't be doing this, but sometimes you just can't not, can you? I think I'm addicted. I'm just trying to cover the lady's address up there. Hang on. Oh, well, I can't. We'll try. There you go. We're open anyway, I think. Yeah. I'll watch my fingers and the contents. Well, obviously, I know what it is, but I don't know what it looks like in reality. Um, from what I remember, pretty hideous in one way, but could be nice in another. Have you guessed yet? <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, actually, I'll take that back. She's really cute. I thought her dress was ridiculously oversized for her, which it is. But, oh, look. Cute. Very small. She looked like she had a bit of a funny hand as well. Oh, she's tiny. How big is she? Let's have a look. There's her head. Gosh, she's not even four inches. Three and a half. Three and a half inches. So she's going to go um, with my other little lady in my Turnbull house. So. I think it's been sewn into place, yeah. So we'll take that off. Make her a new outfit, I think. That's far too bulky. It's making her look massive, isn't it? In fact, we'll do it now. We'll take this off and have a look at her. Right, let's take this huge bow off, which is just so oversized for her. I should know better than doing this. I might get a horrific her supplies. Su supplies? Surprise. <laughs> right. Let's have a look. Okay. So I wouldn't say a body, looking at that, it's either been dressed for a lot of years and it's not too bad. It's Yeah, she's losing a bit there, look. So that's going to have to be sorted. Right, so I've just had a closer look. Couldn't help myself. <laughs> That's been made out of milliput or something like that. It's a replacement arm. You can see the shape of it and everything is not right. Anyway, she's going in the freezer. Back again. I keep seeing I'm going, don't I? Just thought while we've got her here, we'll give her face a little clean. It's just a cotton wool bud and some water. And I know some people do love to leave them dirty. And I don't mind either sometimes. Sorry, it's, it's very hard to keep you on camera here. Let me see. Let me get in. Right, there she is. I was just saying, two cotton buds. Both quite grubby and that is literally just from her head. So definitely worth doing. And she does look so much cleaner like I say things don't need to be old always old and grubby just to prove they are old I could easily rub a bit of dirt into her and make her look old <laughs> so don't always think because it's grubby it's old but anyway she is she's nice she's going to be beautiful by the time we finished and her legs need doing as well uh, probably the one arm that's genuine but I won't do them yet because she's going into the freezer and I don't want her to be damp in any way, shape or form. So, just in case. So, yeah. I'll probably paint her some boots on as well, you know. She's definitely got them there. But yeah. Why not? We'll do that. But not today. <laughs> okay, we're back to a bit of waterwork today. Um, I will be doing, hopefully, another project as well. 
Depends how long this takes. But I have this, not very old, I might add. Uh, really awful fireplace, in my opinion, anyway. It's dusty, as you can see. That, that That's my opinion of there. But, um, but I bought this. And it came with some little blocks of wood around it to make it bigger. Because even though my house is small, it even looks... I took them off anyway. It looks a bit too small scale. So my thoughts are, how much nicer does it look in there? I think it looks much nicer. So I've got to make this opening bigger somehow. I, don't, I mean, ideally, a chisel would be a good thing, but I don't have one. <laughs> my husband does, but they're all in the shed and there's no way I'm venturing into there. Right, I'll bring you back when I've got somewhere. Right, well, thankfully, it is actually wood. Right, so I've just brought you back. It's going in there, but as you can see, I've still got a bit to go. So I need a bit more off the top and a bit more off the side. Right, as usual, I'm in a right old mess. But anyway, that wasn't actually too hard. I reckon this is some sort of balsa wood. Um, I need to take this out here at the bottom. It's only that. Can you see the plate there that I'm trying to get past? But of course, as I knew would happen, now the, um, that definitely should be in there. These bits here are catching. But we're in. I think that'll be nice. And there is a little hole at the back there for a, we could put a battery light in. Right, I'll get it glued in. Right, I've been painting away. It's not dry yet, but as usual, I can't wait. <laughs> I haven't got time to wait. So I think this is going to be like a, a darker colour. I haven't quite decided. I haven't done it quite black yet. But we'll see. So rather than paint this, I'm going to use some stove and grate polish because obviously I have a an old cast iron range downstairs so this is what I use on it it's just basically like blacking I mean there is a different make actually that I prefer but because I bought this uh, I've been using it for a long time because I don't make my grate that often <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you <laughs> I don't clean it half as much as I should. It does look lovely when it's done, mind. I shall do it for Christmas. Right, we have to let that uh, sit a little bit now. You just give it a polish now. Like I say, it'll still let that gold shine through. I didn't even know there was gold there. <laughs> I don't know if this is dry yet. Oh, I think it is. That's what it's going to look like. I'll just pop down and try it in the house, make sure it doesn't look ridiculous before I go any further. Right, it's just a matter of gluing that on there. I think the best way to do it is with a brush in this case. I'm just going to, because I'm not really sure where this makes contact, so I'm just going to brush it there. And this will easily, you know, at any one point, this will easily come back off, I'm sure if I wanted it to. I was trying to do this without getting it all over me. And you don't get a lot of manoeuvring time with this stuff, do you? Right, I hope that's in the right place. Press down, oh, please go in. <coughs> okay, this wasn't really part of the plan, but as things progress and they do, um, they change. <laughs> My plans do anyway. 
these are two little bits that I had left over. Now, if you've seen my other videos, the little red couch that's in my big old house, as I call it, Bucknell House. These were two bits that I cut off because they were on the ends and they were just a bit too much, if you know what I mean. It, it started to look wrong. So I cut them off. And I'm thinking if I can somehow attach... Uh, are they opposites? Yeah, they should be. Yeah, if I somehow can attach those onto there and there make this hole a bit bigger to take that rod, then it'll then have a nice brass rod to go across, which is something that was definitely around in Victorian times. Not. What have I got to lose? A few bits that have been lying around. Another hole in me mat. Oh well. So that one should be right as well. Yeah. Right, so I've stuck those on. This actually looks a lot readier on the camera than it is in real life. It's actually a bit more brown than that. So that's going through there like that. I won't bother. So that's where they can hang their little tea towels and things. And then I'm thinking I have this old uh, underskirt off a doll. And it's really tatty, but it's probably perfect for this. I'm thinking of making a, a like a shelf cover to go on there, and then that can just hang down. I can't decide whether it's going to look nice or not. All right, so I've just ironed the front and back. I'm not really quite sure how to do this. I don't know why. <laughs> it just seems to be throwing me today. Right. I'm just using my fingers to put a crease in there so I can see what length I want it. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to cut that straight off and then cut another piece of lace and sew it around the side. I think that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> but don't quote me on that. <laughs> Obviously, when I cut it, I'll leave enough for a bit of a seam. <laughs> okay. I think I need to explain to you what a right mess I'm making of this, basically. At the moment, I'm trying to make... A cover for the fire so it looks like that now for love and money i don't know why i can't think how i should do it as in like it's just lost it's gone and it should just be doing like a box cover really but anyway that's more or less what it is only without a back so anyway the way i've done it is I've cut a piece of fabric. Uh, this is the third piece, by the way. <laughs> I hate wasting stuff, but I will save this and hopefully be able to use some. So I've cut it that shape. Obviously, this wasn't quite long enough there, so I hadn't cut it square. As you can see, this fabric's very fragile, very, uh, well, it's pretty old. And, and this is not the way you should do it. I'm 100% sure. <laughs> But it's the way I'm doing it today. Right, so I'm just, I'll crease that. And I'm just going to take that like that. Sew it on there. And take it part way around the corner. Because like I said, I don't want any bulk at the back. Because that's going to be stuck down. And then that will give that appearance. It's not right, I know. But do you know what? I'm at the point now where I don't really care. <laughs> so I think when you hit that kind of point... I'll just sew it to there. It's probably best to, to give it a break in it. All right, so I want that there, like that. And to the side. Sorry. So anyway, this is working. As far as I'm concerned, this is good enough. <laughs> So if you want to do it this way, if you've got an old piece of fabric that's got the lace attached like that, like I have. Right, I just wanted to show you, but obviously that's what I'm going to glue those bits down. Those bits there and there so they don't fray. I should have taken that one further round, but I didn't. But I'm just going to put some sticky tape at the back of here, double sided tape. Just to help it stay on. 
and that will go through there. But I'm not doing that until I've got it in place and I decide, I, I can't decide whether I should paint the frame black. I quite like the sort of painting it black. Maybe I might go that way. Or maybe I'll leave it and let you decide. So, who lives here then? Ah oh, yes, it's Miss Agatha Stitch. Well, she's the housekeeper. And what's that? She's uh, admiring. Is that a new range? Oh, I think we need to go in and have a look at that. Oh yes. The proud owner of a brand new range. Well, it's brand new to them. So anyway, there it is. As you can see, it's about the right size for Agatha. So, Miss Stitch wants to know, do we paint the surround black or do we leave it that colour? Let me know in any comments, I'd really appreciate it. And I must say, thank you to anybody who's liked and subscribed. You're all fantastic and I just absolutely love reading your comments and replying to them. So, ta-ta for now. Snout is unwell after eating all that Christmas pudding, so Tobias decides to bring him to bed and give him some medicine. Come on in, Snout. Let's get you into that bed. Hey, lad, pigs in blankets. I'm sure someone will find a use for that. Go on, get in there. Now, open wide. There's some medicine for you. Better be quick. Beth will be back soon. Well, go and sort me cows out. Catch you later. Oh, gosh, it's dark in here tonight. I'm so looking forward to getting into bed. I'm absolutely shattered. And how cosy does my bed look? Oh, what? What on the earth? Oh, my goodness. Uh, it's snout. Get out. Oh, sorry, Beth. I didn't what know. What on the earth? I forgot. I'm off. Bye from Tobias. Okay, well, on with another project uh, after the fireplace. It's another wood project, but I will be doing something different after, so you'll get a little bonus this week, cause, but it's just something that I feel Folly Beck needs and has needed for a while, which is a plate rack. Not that I've got any plates, but we'll, <laughs> that might be the other project, we'll see. So that was my idea. So I've cut myself some bits of wood with my uh, Dremel Motto, whatever it's called, Moto. They're going to be the sides, that's going to be the top. These pieces are going to be where the these little wooden bits go on, which should be round, but I've only got square that I cut ages ago, so they'll do. Here I'm just drilling some holes for the plate supports. Uh, I had to whittle them down a bit to fit and then I just glue them all in and glue the whole piece into the plate rack. This is how I glued it into place. I changed the glue I was using to YooHoo glue and to be honest with you, I was not happy with it at all, which is why I'm pointing it out there, but I have to live with it now it's done. I trim the plate support straight and glue it into place and then I start on the bottom rack for the small plates.
I'll just quickly show you, I've put some hooks on. Not the best, only five. I wanted six really, but I didn't space them out quite right, so I've just left it at that. Just a bit of twisted wire glued on to a piece of wood. So, hopefully, when I get some cups, we can put it on. I was hoping to make some plates, but um, I don't think that's going to happen somehow. But we'll see, anyway. Well, I got it onto the wall with some museum wax and as I didn't get round to doing any plates and I did have a few issues um, trying to sort out how to make some to be honest so I need to think about that one carefully. I've used some of the old vintage tokens that I have and they actually look quite nice and I've just hung some little cups on the bottom and it's all on there quite nice and secure just with the wax like I said so I think it looks all right. I might give it a wax down yet, haven't decided, we'll wait and see. I think that looks okay. So there it is, little hooks and cups. We'll have a go at, make, at mending Charlotte's arm. So, yeah, if you're up for that, I am. All right, let's give this a go. Also got, got to get around to so many things. <laughs> I don't know if you lot are interested in Christmas decorations or not. I can't, I'm not sure I am anymore. All right, that's a bit tucked in, I think. Let's see. There might not be enough millie put here, to be honest. Because that's about the right thickness. Right, we'll get that. I'm not much of a sculptor, but yeah, I'll give it a go. It's just this little hand bit now. I might have to add a bit on. All I'm trying to do is get it to go together. So I've got something to work with. I obviously cut too much off in the first place. My own fault. Right, that seems to have adhered now. So let's get it back on there. Right, that's that side. Okay. So it's straightening out a little bit like that. And then we need this hand. Right, it's slowly getting there. I'm just trying to put an indentation in the right place because if I get that right, then I think that's going to help me shape that little hand. Mm. Right, well that's as close as I've got it. Unfortunately it is a bit flat underneath but unless I'm able to shape it as a sandy or add a little bit on maybe after that's as good as it's going to get so I need to leave it to dry now. Well that's possibly one of the strangest things that's ever happened to me. Well I can't say the strangest thing because I've had things go missing in here before and just turn up in the most oddest of places but you've just seen me make that arm and I've lost it. I'm not happy about that at all. <laughs> <laughs> right, so she's got a bit of a calf going on there now. Let's compare the two. That might be too flat. <sighs> Silly little things, I tell you. Driving me nuts. Right. Well.
right that's one little